just double check. I am so excited to chat with you today. It is Monday. Um, it's really interesting how everybody shows up on a Monday um, and uh, how everyone's feeling. So I went to log into Zoom and it wouldn't work. I was just like typical Monday stuff, right? Like this sort of stuff happens on a Monday. You've got to be in the right kind of mindset so that you don't just go, oh, my gosh, everything's so hard. Why is everything working against me? Instead, just stop and breathe and just relax and just know you're going to work it out. And, you know, if something takes a little bit longer, it's totally fine. There's no reason to get worked up. I love Mondays because I spend quite a bit of time first thing on a Monday morning, really like reflecting on um, what I've been able to achieve over the past few weeks. And then what is it that I want to achieve going forward? And that really, really helps me to get a lot more organized and um, make sure that I'm actually reaching my goals. Um, I'm just tagging everybody. I still um, need to do this where I just tag who um, wanted to jump on the live, but anyway, um, I will get onto it so that I'm a little bit more specific. Um, if you are watching the replay, please hashtag replay. What is today's uh, live all about? It is something that has been coming up with not just my clients, but with so many people that I'm speaking to. And I thought, you know what? I need to talk about this. This is something that we as women need to think about and talk about and share to be able to empower ourselves in this area, to be able to make those changes and to know that we're not alone, we're, we're all going through our own stuff, right? And we're working through different things and we're trying to achieve so many different goals and sometimes trying to be Wonder Woman, <laughs> which is how we can get ourselves into, um, I guess, a bit of a situation where we are feeling less than good about ourselves. And what happens from there is we start to really lose our or um, our self-confidence can decline. It might not lose it, but it might to decline and we might not feeling as um, empowered or as excited about ourselves and our life as we should be. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, I'm just making sure that it's showing up in Facebook, looks like it is. So, you know, this is the sort of stuff that we don't necessarily learn. It's the sort of stuff that we uh, we kind of work through and grow into um, understanding and um, try and implement self-confidence. And I think that um, there's different areas in our lives where we can feel confidence in certain areas and not in others. So we might feel really confident in something and then something else we don't feel confident in. So um, that there's that to, to look at as well. So the first thing I want you to do, if you are joining me, please let me know, um, pop in the comments um, and grab a no notebook and pen because when you want to make changes, when you really want stuff to sink in and you retain it and remember it, um, the more you can do the action with it, um, the better results you get. So, and this is what I always teach my clients, I great, great, get your pen and paper out preferably a notebook or a journal or something like that, that you're going to use again. But sometimes if it's a scrap piece of paper, you know, whatever works. Hey, Rachel, thank you for joining. Um, so grab your pen and paper. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to list a few different reasons why you think you may be lacking in self-esteem. So what is it um, or self-confidence, whatever is most important to you? What do you think that is um, behind the reasons where you either don't have self-confidence or self good self is healthy self-esteem, or maybe you had it and you lost it. Um, or maybe you've never learned about it, but what would be the, the reasons? So let's really like connect into what are the reasons why um, we, we don't have the confidence that we actually want to for ourselves. So that's the first step. And I'll just give you a sec to be able to write that down and have a think about what it is. And consider um, why this has happened. What has happened in your life that is, that's created this? Is it events, experiences, what other people have said to you? Is it um, things that you've gone through? Is it things that you've lost? Is it uh, that there has been 
thoughts and feelings and conversations that you've had with yourself over a period of time that is uh, grown into this way of thinking where you just don't have that confidence. Uh, what is it that uh, could have happened to you even as a child that may have disrupted your um, your development of, of confidence and, and your self-esteem? What is it that could have happened for you in your life that has changed um, the ability to, to grow this part of you? So that's the first thing is to, to really have a look at the why. Why are you? Um, and, and the awareness, I this is a big thing that I'm always coaching about. The awareness is the first step. It is like the first thing in everything is when you're aware of, um, of a part of yourself, you can make huge changes, profound changes in your life when you're aware. The next step is really to acknowledge that there are reasons why we are the way we are. There are reasons where um, our confidence may not be what we want it to or our self-esteem has not been growing over the years. And I know personally myself that um, every time I have done the work in the area of building up my confidence, something's come along and um, knocked me for six and I've gone, oh, my gosh, you know, and I've come back to one particular question um, that I've been doing the work in and every time I hit this question I now start another process and journey on you know what is the answer so for me um, what I ask myself is who am I now this is some work I did with my clients um, in our group coaching last Tuesday night and it was very interesting some of the answers that my clients came up with and I and I run this, this kind of training every three months and it's interesting to see the results that my clients get and that is that, you know, we sometimes aren't even aware of our level of confidence. Sometimes we're not aware of our level of self-esteem and it's just sitting with that and really looking into it and going, oh, my gosh, like how did this happen? Like, you know, what's going on here? Um, I had no idea. I thought this way. I had no idea. I had no confidence. So that's why awareness is just such a key vital part of your journey here. Um, and, you know, the, the, the first step in making changes. So the next thing I want you to think about is, um, is really the, when it comes to awareness, is why. Why are uh, now you're aware, why is this holding you back? So you're aware of, you know, what is it that was the cause of it? So why is this holding you back? And I'm going to share some different reasons why it could be holding you back. It could be, and this is for a lot of us, especially us women, especially if you're a, a big thinker or you've got that type A personality, um, is that you you replay things over in your head. So things are going on kind of like a, a, re, a repeat, or like an auto, um, an autoplay, just constantly going over in your mind um, and replaying things, whether they are conversations, events, um, your reactions, all that sort of stuff. Other reasons why um, it could be that you have experienced some trauma or some major events in your childhood um, that you haven't done any work on, or maybe you have done some work on it, but you aren't at a level where you're um, able to work through it um, to, to build up that confidence that you're really looking for. Other um, reasons why you may be lacking in, in, in your confidence is that you uh, may be in the habit of having negative self-talk. So what does negative self-talk look like? Um, it is actually us having conversations with ourselves and a lot of the time we're doing it again on autopilot and we don't even realise we're doing it. So have a look at you know, what are the things that you are saying to yourself quite often that you don't realise? What I hear a lot of from women is, I'm really bad at this, 
or I wish I could do this, but I just can't, um, or I'm really, really crap at this. And what that's doing is that's creating, um, we're, we're telling our mind that we're not good at stuff. So we're, we're making our mind believe and our self believe something that isn't necessarily true. This is most likely a belief that we have. And that belief isn't necessarily true. In most cases, it's actually not true at all. So that negative self-talk we can get into, it can be that petty, um, that pattern. And it can be that the point that we could be actually saying to ourselves, you know, you're, you're fat, you're stupid, you're lazy, um, you are, you know, not successful, whatever it is that is coming up for you that is being repeated on auto loop. And if any of this resonates, please, please share. Another reason why you'd be maybe lacking confidence is that you have unhealthy relationships. Now, those unhealthy relationships can be with a partner, they can be with family, they can be with friends, and they can be with your um, with your workplace. And so what happens is, those unhealthy relationships will really impact your confidence, your confidence in yourself and your confidence in how you go about things. So what is the, the, the answer to this? It's really looking at your relationship with yourself. You know, who are you? And like I said before, I have had things where I've built my confidence up and it's mm -hmm. like I'm feeling really, really great. And then something happens and bam. <laughs> um, my my confidence is knocked back and I'm like trying to deal with something that's happened to me. And over the years, I've worked how to, you know, really um, work through this stuff in such a way that I can bounce back from things so much quicker and also not have a, such a huge reaction to situations. And I'm um, very grateful that I have those tools um, and systems that really, really support me um, through anything major that happens. Um, but sometimes it still begs the question uh, that comes up, which is, who am I? And when we have a straw, strong um, understanding of who we are, when we have a strong understanding of um, who we are and what that looks like and who do we want to be and, and how can we step into that role on a daily basis? It really like locks in that confidence. So when things happen, you can always go back to, you have a confidence in yourself, in who you are and what that means. So I want you to think about that um, and really look at your relationships, sometimes breaking down your different relationships your relationships with um, partners, um, your relationships with friends, your relationships with family, your relationships with people at work or your working environment and really break that down and see what that looks like. And then the next thing I want you to think about when it comes to your confidence is, are you able to communicate your needs? Do you understand what that means? Do you know how to do it? And if your answers are yes, are you actually doing it? Are you asking um, for the things that you need and are you, do you know how to communicate that? Because that is going to build your confidence because then when you know who you are and you can um, build your confidence, then you are going to be able to always go back to who am I, what am I here for? And you can um, ask for your needs and make sure your needs are met. So I think that's one of the biggest things. Thinking about that, um confidence culture that we have that's going on it's telling us we have to be so self-assured it's telling us we have to have high self-esteem it's telling us we have to be super confident but the thing is we don't wake up confident we don't just get born with confidence it is something that we have to work on. It is something that we have to understand, we have to bring into our focus, and we have to make sure we're working towards it on a daily basis. There are things we need to do to feel more assured, to work on that. We all want to feel confident, right? And I think that the key is that even when you don't feel confident, 
you feel um, other feelings and emotions, that's okay and that's totally normal. So look at what it is that you're feeling. Are you feeling fear? Are you feeling anxiety? Are you feeling unworthy? Are you feeling unloved, unheard, not good enough? And when you understand that about yourself, you know, okay, well, this is where I'm coming from. It doesn't mean I can't work towards confidence on a daily basis. We want to all feel confident. So how can we move that needle slowly every day towards that, be moving forwards? And even if we're not feeling confident, that we're still doing things that are going to make us confident. Uh, Denise said, bouncing back quicker these days after upsets. Absolutely. Then you know you're doing the work, right? You know you're doing the work when you are bouncing back, when you are feeling how quick you can um, handle situations and your reactions to things. So well done because that is a big, um, that is a big, uh, what's the word? Um, I've used all my words up this morning already. <laughs> That's a big, um, you know, yes to seeing how much work you've done and and that you're achieving those um, those goals towards your confidence and your personal growth. Um, personal development is working on yourself so you can be at those levels of achieving um, what you've what's so important and what means we can show up in this world in a better version of ourselves. It means that we can show up in this world and feel good about who we are and be able to deal with life on a daily basis. And I say all this stuff because I talk to women every single day that are dealing with anxiety, that are dealing with fear and are dealing with so many emotions that they don't even know and that had a name. And this is why this work is so important because when you do the work, it means that you get to show up as your best self. And every time is a lesson and it's something to learn from and something to build and grow. Sometimes we need support and that's totally okay. That's why I have women that come and work with me. You might feel that you can do this stuff on your own. Absolutely go for it. Um, if you need support, you you know, there's people to reach out to. There's me, um, nutrition and mindset coach. There are other women as well. So find someone who resonates with you and get that support because this is the stuff that means you show up in a different capacity. And I want to also add that confidence requires practice. Con confidence requires um, continual work. You need to be showing up for yourself. And even when you don't know how to, it's just still deciding, okay, I'm here and I'm going to show up for myself. So, um, you know, it, it's making that choice and saying, I choose me and I choose to work on my confidence and I choose to show up as a confident woman and all that I can be because you will see the difference in your life. You will see the, the change in your energy. You will see such a difference in your choices because I know when I worked on my confidence and I watch it with my own clients, we choose healthy food. We choose different lifestyle habits. We choose to put ourselves first. We choose a different mindset. So work on your confidence so you can keep building on all the other areas of your life. And you will feel amazing as you do this work. You will feel empowered. And I think that's just so cool. Something I um, have been doing with my clients and I got them to do last week is a daily promise. If you're interested in knowing more about that and you want to have a copy of something that I do just with my private um, nutrition and mindset coaching clients, comment below um, that you would like a copy of the um, daily promise. And um, I'm happy to share that um, PDF. It's something you can do for yourself and work on some of your goals. And most importantly, be working on your confidence and how you're feeling about yourself. So I hope this has really helped. Like I said, please hashtag replay. If you want any more information about anything that I've talked about today, please um, comment below or feel free to reach out to me directly. Um, and if you want a copy of Daily Promise, um, comment below um, and I would love to support you. Um, anyway, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Make sure it's magical and amazing because Mondays are, it's a fresh start, a new week. Something to get excited about. Um, and I will speak to you in a few days. Take care, everyone, and uh, look after yourself.